good morning everybody welcome back to the channel <clears throat> this is the Mary Lemieux career video it's Mo Money with you on the sport Mo Money Sports Network the sports network for the sports fan it's my favorite time of the week the uh, player profile and uh, again this is Mary Lemieux my favorite hockey player of all time this guy if you were fortunate enough to watch this guy live the things he could do with a hockey stick is just magic. It's, uh, Mario is Mr. Penguin. He was born on October 5th, 1965. He was the six foot four, 230 pound center out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. He was drafted first overall by the Penguins. It's where he spent his whole career. Uh, he spent his junior career in Laval inducted as a player into the hockey hall of fame in 1997 uh yeah it's it's one of those things he's he's a hall of famer like i said two times stanley cup champion uh 1984 1985 all rookie team nine time all-star 85 84 85 rookie of the year because who else would it be Three-time Harp Champion, which is the NHL's regular season MVP. 92-93 <clears throat> Masterson Award winner. Four-time Pearson winner. Six-time Art, 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 Art Ross Champion, which is their scoring title. And two-time Conn Smythe Champion, which is the NHL's playoff MVP, which is both years the Penguins won lord stanley's cup which for me it's the most difficult trophy to win in all sports <clears throat> the magic man mario lemieux played 915 games 690 goals 1033 assists 1723 points his plus minus was 114 which is 114 more goals he was on the ice for than he was against and uh, yeah this is just he was incredible there was a, one play against the minnesota north stars where he just well let me tell you he split four defenders and made the goaltender look silly and it was so good that they put it up on the hockey night canada uh intro so you'd see it every saturday night as the as they started hockey night in canada here in canada however that only touches the surface of mario's greatness there was a time in his first run with the penguins <clears throat> that he scored two points per game on average and he was com being compared to the great one wayne gretzky and a lot of people including myself without even being my favorite player which would say would tell you and i still argue this to this day that if mario had stayed healthy he would have been Wayne. he would have been better than wayne gretzky however people might disagree with me you can put your comments in the comment section below and drop a like and subscribe to the video if you enjoy this content <clears throat> uh mario has been with the penguins through its highest highs and its lowest lows it's stanley cup championships to being cellar dwellers, to the Penguins not being able to afford their players, to Mario owning the team. That's right, Mario Lemieux at one point, and actually he still does own the Pittsburgh Penguins, through all their troubles, through all their ups and downs, through Crosby and Malkin. And that's the other thing, when they drafted Sidney Crosby, Crosby lived with uh, Mario when he started with the penguins uh, mario like i said was inducted into the hockey hall of fame in 1997 <clears throat> and due to health concerns we thought mario would never play again except he came back and one of the funniest things about that was when mario came back the second time they put his game on cbc and i tell you the penguins won that game but every time the Penguins scored, I think I thought I thought Mario was in on it. That's how excited I was to have him back. And um, 
yeah, he got two or three points in that game. The Penguins ended up winning. But, you know, I just thought he was all over the ice. And it got to the point where my brother actually joked that I was seeing 66 all over the ice. And let's not forget some of Mario's classic moments either. Like the 87 Canada Cup where it's him and Gretzky passing the puck for the game-winning goal uh, on that Canada Cup team. Mario's just done so much for the league. And, uh, yeah, he started at the age of 19. And just listen to this. Some of these 17-year career, and he's played in 73, 79, 63, 77. He's got, he's been very durable in his career as well. So it's not like he didn't play very many games either. <clears throat> it's it's an incredible thing that Mario had played with just one team. That never happens anymore. And the reason he was, tells people he wore number 66 is because Mario said he wanted to be 99, but Wayne Gretzky told him to build his own identity. So that's why he, he just basically flipped the number upside down. And said, well, I'm going to be number 66. So he really did want to be like Wayne Gretzky. Which is very, very cool. I think Mario is one of those players that will go down in history. It is not, if, if not the greatest player, one of the greatest players of all time. He was on a line with, uh, it was Ron Francis and Yaramir Yeager. And Mario and Yaramir remind me of Crosby and Malkin he really does and you know Mario when he took over to own the team otherwise the Penguins would have moved I believe that the Penguins would have moved had he not um bought the team and over his 17 year career he won rookie of the year he's got the stats to back it up Let's see what happens here. 84-85, he wins Rookie of the Year. 87, he goes on to win the Canada Cup. <clears throat> Mario leads the Penguins to two Stanley Cups. His goaltender at the time was the American Tom Barrasso. Mario, for my money, like I said, he had health concerns. He missed two and a half seasons. And he wasn't really the scoring threat when he came back the second time. However, just seeing Mario back on the ice in the, at the beginning of the salary cap era was something special for me. Mario was my favorite player. Uh, there's nobody better, in my opinion. I still think he was better than Wayne Gretzky had he stayed healthy. But that's my opinion. Until next time, may your ego come from a place that keeps you humble again. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I know these videos are all over the place, but I don't really script them. These are just fan essays, really. Uh, until next time, may your ego come from a place that keeps you humble. I'm Mo Money, Mario. I love you. Mamba out.